Hi, my name is Jovi and welcome back to Kids Corner. And my name is Grancy and we're glad to be back, right? Yes, and today we're going to be talking about more Noah. More, more Noah? Yeah. More Noah. Okay, so last week you read the story mm -hmm. about Noah and how God was very angry with all the people because they were sinning, mm -hmm. right? And Noah and his family found favor with God because they weren't. And he gave Noah really explicit instructions to build an ark because he was going to send a flood. Okay, and he wanted no, there was eight, eight people that were gonna be on the ark. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their three wives. And each of their wives, they didn't have three wives. So that's eight, that's eight people on the ark, plus two of every kind of animal, okay. right? And this is what God said to Noah. You wanna read this for us? Yeah. Good. This is how you build it. The ark is, is to be 450 feet long. 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the ark to within 18 inches off the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. Okay, so shall we share a picture of what the ark looked like? Yeah. When we rode up and saw it. And this was just a replica. Right. Model. All right, there it is. Okay. There it is, you wanna hold that up? Yes. Right, now you remember how many, we can't see the whole length of it, but do you remember how we could help everybody understand how much, how big it was on the inside? What did our book tell us? 450 feet long. No, 450 of those semi trucks mm -hmm. could yeah. fit in there. If you could pile those big trucks yeah. in there, mm -hmm. 450 would fit in there. And how long did it take Noah to make this? 75. 75 years. Can you imagine getting a project and it taking 75? It would be hard to stick to, wouldn't it? I just guess 10 days and then she said 75 years. Yeah, right. No. I hear a sound. Okay. Well, so Noah followed the directions that God had given him to follow. And he had to make, he had to have provisions for the animals. He had to have water, he had to have enough food, okay? So he and his sons uh, developed a way to get the water, to carry the water, to have a way for food for the animals. And even they developed a way for when the animals went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. how it all fell down and came out on the bottom layer and then they would just clean that. So it took a lot of, I think the words ingenuity for them. So would you like to share with our friends, this is an example of the clay vessels that were used to hold the water. Okay. So turn it around and let's share that. There you go. And this is a picture of the crates that probably I would say the birds were kept in. Birds, chickens, hens. Yeah, so share that. I'm gonna find another picture here. I didn't, I didn't, don't have a picture of it, but of the, the places where the other animals were kept. And they only, when God sent the animals to the ark, it was interesting because we read that Noah didn't go out and get the animals. God sent the animals to the ark. So in that picture that we looked at, you can see them walking two by two to get on the ark, right? So they had like uh, the dog um, kind of that animal. That looks like a little bit like a wolf. Yeah, a cat kind of animal, okay? So when they got on the ark, they were leaving a land where they could um, have food and have a lot of nourishment. But when the waters came, when the rain waters came and flooded everything, what do you suppose it looked like when they got off? Just imagine 
the land is full of water. Okay, everything's covered. Everything. The dies. ocean. So, when the animals look, I want to say it looks like a really big river, but it's just. Okay, but the water had dried up because Noah yeah. didn't get off till it dried up. So, do you think the trees were still living? No. Nope. Nothing. There was nothing. So then the animals kind of, it was like a survival of the fittest. When the animals got off, they had to figure out, okay, what are we going to do? Yeah, how, how are we, we survive? Going, how, how do we survive? Right. So what, can you think of what lesson we need to learn from this about when God asks us to do a task that might seem difficult? Well, you should always trust God because God never lies. And if he says, Okay, I'm gonna need you to do blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and you should always do it because you should, right. God knows what's gonna happen next. Right, and He knows you can do it, and He knows you might be a little afraid or like Noah. Maybe people will laugh at you sometimes. Yeah, but Noah didn't care because God told him to do just that. And when they got off the ark, they were the only eight people. Yeah, there was no other people too. But so it was a big job, right? Yeah, but, and very scary, I would imagine. But like they're probably thinking like if all the stuff is dead, mm -hmm. there is no food anywhere. Right. So there well, is they, none. they had plants and everything on the ark. So maybe, I'm just maybe, I don't know, maybe some of the plant life that they had inside of the ark, mm -hmm. maybe they could take it out and plant it to start growing. I don't know. I don't know how they survived. But let's just remember that if God, God has a plan for our life, we know that because it says that in Jeremiah, that he knows the plans he has for us, all right? And if he asked you to do something, he's going to equip you to do it. So you need not be afraid, okay? Mm -hmm. So do you want to read our prayer for us? Yeah. Starting right there. Father, sometimes it sees that the job is too big for us. Help us to remember that when we put trust in you, anything is possible. Amen. Okay, well, let's tell our friends bye. Bye. Bye, friends, and we'll talk about Noah a little more next Friday. Okay. Okay.